Hello and welcome. My name's Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Thank you for joining me again on my channel. Okay, so today is another Challenge Tuesday craft along um, where I'm going to be taking part in a challenge and hopefully you guys can craft along with me. So the challenge I'm doing today is one of Tina's from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, you can get her challenges on her Facebook group. So if you go into Facebook and search for Shabby Dabby Doodah, um, it should come up straight away at the top. Um, this is the February challenge that I'm doing here. I did do the January one, but I didn't record it because uh, January was when I first started my um, YouTube channel. So I was still pretty new and very nervous and didn't really want to film it. But um, I'll show you what I've done just so you kind of get an idea of what Tina's challenges are like. So she takes the um, month and then there are different materials or different things, themes um, that need to be included in your project somewhere um, how you interpret them is entirely up to you so this was January's one so you needed to use jute so I use that um, in a little bow at the top of this tag um, an arch so my tag is arched uh, nautical so it needed a nautical theme so I've got my little compass here um, and a map which also ticks off atlas you also needed to use umber, which um, I actually had to look up, but it's kind of like orangey tones and brown. So on the back, um, my tag shows those kind of colours in there. So that was that one. Um, also recycled. So I have a recycled, uh, this was a little envelope um, that I had, um, I think wax melts in. So I recycled that and put that on there. And the last one was yellow. So I've got yellow ribbon and also my flowers in my stamp are also yellow. So that was how I interpreted January. And that was my January one. So this time I'm looking at February. That's what we're doing in this video. And the criteria for this one is fabric, envelope, brown, rose, uncolored, alphabet, random and yarn. So there was a couple that Tina did explain. So alphabet, you didn't have to have the whole alphabet on your project, just some letters. Um, and random could literally just be anything random. So something you perhaps have on your desk. So um, I have had a little bit of think and pulled some bits together that I'm going to use. So for the fabric and the envelope, I've combined those two. I got these really sweet little dies that make envelopes um, from AliExpress. And I'll show you that I've got two different sizes actually, but they make these teeny tiny little envelopes. These were my little testers. Um, so I thought they would be quite cute. So I'd make one out of fabric and then that could be like a little dangle off of um, the journaling cards that I'm going to make. So yeah, so I've cut this out already. Um, I did put it on some card as well, just to kind of make obviously the fabric a little bit stiff because this one is a very thin one. So I didn't think it would hold up very well as a charm. So I have backed it onto card. So that's my fabric and envelope. For brown, uh, the piece of card that I'm using, as you can see, is a nice thickness, um, but would make a great sort of journaling card. So that's my brown. For the rose and uncoloured, again, I have combined. So uh, this is one of those old overhead projector um, sheets. And I've uh, just printed over it. And as you can see, I've got lovely flowers and roses and things in there. So I'm going to use this to create a pocket. And obviously it's uncoloured, it's black and white. So that ticks off those two. Um, for the alphabet, I was a little bit unsure. I mean, obviously this does have words on, so that could um, tick that off. But I have sort of pulled out a couple of others. So I've got sort of the NO for number four, inspire, discover. So I've got a couple of other words here that I could possibly use. I've also got some scrappy bits of text that I could use. Um, but these could also come under my randoms because the bits that are random and left over on my desk are these. I've also got these little baggies. I don't know if you can see them very well. But they're just like little gem things. Now I'm not an overly blingy person but they're a random thing that's on my desk so I thought I would maybe try and use some of those up. And yarn, I've got some yarn here. Um, I was thinking of doing like a little yarn bow or something at the top. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do then is trim down. I did start trimming down uh, my pockets that I'm going to use. So um, obviously this is quite a large uh, piece of card. So if you think of a journal, that is the size of a journaling page. That's quite huge. So I'm going to cut it down so it's four inches wide and then seven and a half 
up. So it's going to be nice and tall um, and four inches wide. So I'm just going to trim that down first um, so that it fits my pocket on nicely. Okay, so there is the um, large tag slash journaling card. So there's going to be lots of space for journaling on the back and then obviously like this nice big pocket on the front. Um, what I'm going to do next is just trim the corners a little bit so it is more tag shaped. I'm just thinking, do I want to trim this down so it's a little bit shorter? I think I might. So this little bit at the bottom, I'm just going to cut off as well on this one. Okay, so that's my corners trimmed and my pocket on the front. So I am going to sew around this in a moment. So um, I'm literally just going to try and lay things in place for now. Um, so I'm going to use my yarn at the top. So I'm going to punch two holes here and then I'm going to sort of tie a bow with those. So that I'll do in a moment after I've done all my sewing. Um, I'm also going to need a hole this side for my... Um, a cute little envelope tag but I'll do that again in a moment or well, actually I could just keep two holes I'll just use the two holes actually rather than having holes everywhere um, I've also got some new lace today which I'm very excited about so I think just to kind of show off that this is a pocket as well is have some lace maybe going along the top so let's trim a bit of that off Okay, so that's going to go along the top and then I just need to have a think about, like I say, my alphabet and my random. So I have got these, I have got some words, obviously I don't want it to interfere with this too much so I'm just thinking if I tuck that just under there. score with my finger that's the bit I want to cut off and I could have that going up there and then that's my pocket so I've got words alphabet does that count do we think are we going to get away with that I could maybe still have a number on there number four or a word or both so do we go with maybe inspire up the side like that and then number four kind of tucked under okay I think so. Right, let's start gluing some bits down then. So, as I said, I'm going to sew round, so I'm just going to use glue stick to um, stick these bits down. These two are actually stickers, but just for that bit. Right, okay, so that's those bits stuck in place. So I think the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew this on to um, this sheet and then I'm going to sew all the way around the edge, also then stitching my pocket in place. Okay, so there's the tag all sewn um, around the edge, as you can 
probably tell I'm not the world's best sewer, but um, still very new to it, and, but absolutely loving the effect that it gives. Uh, so I've now got my pocket, and I love this because obviously now whatever I put in here you can now see behind. So that's really cool. So I've got my pocket on the front. Um, now I'm going to add two holes here where I'm going to tie my little bow with my yarn. Um, and then I can make up my charm and then maybe try and use some bling somewhere. Um, yeah, okay, let's get on with making some holes. So I have my silent setter. Tinsy a bit smaller. Yeah, trim those a little bit more. Okay, and then we can make the charm. So let's see. Need to fold those bits in. So that's then the bottom. Really love this die set. This has certainly been my most favourite purchase from AliExpress recently. But yeah, just look how cute that envelope is. So sweet. Okay, right, I'm going to glue. It'd be better going that way. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down together. And then we can obviously make that a charm. So let's glue that down. I don't need it to open or anything, so I'm just going to literally glue it down. Maybe just a bit of extra glue on the tip of there. Hold that for a moment while it dries. But what a cute little envelope. It's so sweet. Hoping that glue's gonna hold. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just punch a little hole in the corner um, and then we can thread that through and that can dangle off of here as well. So I might use my silent setter for that again. Okay, so that would hook on there, and then that can hook in there. And then we have our cute little envelope. Should that be the other way around? Yeah, let's try and turn that the other way around. Okay, so cute little envelope dangle on the side. I love that. So sweet. Like I say, probably one of my favourite purchases at the moment. Um, but yeah, okay, happy with this so far. Like I said, the only thing I'm wondering is the bling. 
do I add any more to this? Is there enough on there? I could maybe put, I don't know how big they are. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Could one go on the envelope or is that going to be way too big? Let's have a look. Oh, no, I think that's way too big. Okay, well, my random is the scrappy pieces of paper and the number, so... Um, yeah, okay, so let's just double check that we've got everything. So let's get rid of all these bits and pieces. Right, so we have fabric. Check, fabric envelope, so that's number two as well. Brown is obviously my journaling card. A rose is in the print. It's uncoloured, it's just black and white. Alphabet, well, I've got wording all over the place, but I've also got alphabet here. Random, so like I said, I had these bits sitting on my desk anyway. And I've got my yarn at the top. I have a fabulous pocket. Lots of journaling space on the back. Yeah, I am very happy with that. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this little craft along. Um, I've really enjoyed taking part of the challenges so far. I know this is only the second one. Um, but it just yeah gets you to think outside the box, which I absolutely love. And sometimes using things that I wouldn't necessarily have used before. So, yeah, I really do like uh, taking part in these challenges. As I said, if you would like to take part in this challenge, then if you just go to the Facebook group Shabby Dabby Doodah, um, she releases them each month. Um, so I'm looking forward now to March's challenge. If you did enjoy this video and my process, then please click the like button. If you are not already subscribed, then please, um, the subscribe button is below as well. You can also click the bell so you are notified of any new videos that I release. You can also find me on social media. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely crafty day. See you later. Bye bye.